Instead of a 30 minute to an hour long MRI, it'll take a patient five minutes. Headline on the story, Microsoft's analog optical computer cracks two practical problems and shows AI promise. This was published on Microsoft News' blog, but they did put out a research paper yes. associated with this in nature. Yeah. This thing is solving both of those by creating a computer out of light, lenses, and filters. Very okay. Okay. It's very cool to yeah, me yeah, yeah. because it's like fundamental physics in used in a whole new way. Okay. The other thing they can really do is um, combinatorial optimization, mm -hmm. which is this like this class of NP hard problems, like the traveling salesman problem and things like that, that they can efficiently, they're not solving P equals NP, but they can efficiently solve NP hard problems using this technique. Yeah. You know, in MRI scans, the way the MRI scans work is like the patient has to go in and be there for like half hour to an hour. Because what you got to do is you got to take a bunch of different little puzzle pieces of effectively what you're doing is you're you're taking like scans in um, frequency space because of the way that the physics of the MRI works you're you're trying to look at the precession of hydrogen nuclei in the patient as you like disturb it and then there's a magnetic field so then the 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 proton is going to relax and as it relaxes it releases light and you were trying to gather this light and that'll tell you some it'll give you like a frequency map mm -hmm. of the patient and then from that frequency map you go into like a a positional map mm -hmm. right um so in order to do that it takes a lot of scans right. in this fourier space to then reconstruct the actual thing and what you can do is you can very selectively probe this frequency space mm -hmm. and do it in a very smart way with this compressed sensing it's like a zip file yeah, for yeah. sensing yeah. and um you can then you can then reconstruct the image yes right so they could do that. That's a that's an optimization problem. Yeah. They could then figure out, and they projected that you know instead of a thirty minute to an hour long MRI, it'll take a patient five minutes, and then this thing can just like reconstruct it pretty quickly. But what's an important point here is is that the the analog infrastructure, the analog computer infrastructure that they've built, has this application as sort of a replacement for GPUs at inference time in the AI use case uh, because it's it's good at one aspect, but it's also good at this combinatorial piece, which gives it uh, implications in the medical field, for example, in decreasing MRI times because it's fundamentally so much faster and better at this very specific function that is a part of the MRI process that currently is using digital computers. And if you just swap out the hardware infrastructure and a variety of other details to get it integrated right. into the MRI workflow, you're now just able to actually just do more with less. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's like super huge, right? Like now I can do 12 patients instead of one.